Hello friends, this video on hydrogen part 22 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let's see some chemical properties of hydrogen peroxide. So we have properties like decomposition, acidic behavior, oxidizing nature, reducing nature and bleaching action. We'll study all these properties of hydrogen peroxide now. Let's talk about the decomposition property. As we know that hydrogen peroxide is very very unstable. Very unstable. Right? Very unstable liquid. So you have H2O2 immediately breaks into H2O and O. You want to write the balanced equation? This is the balanced equation. Very unstable nature. And this is facilitated by platinum, MnO2, carbon, dust blood all these things will increase this decomposition reaction if you want to suppress this because there's a requirement right we want to keep this h2o2 when we suppress this you can have in touch with glycerol wax phosphoric acid and darkness obviously so if you keep it in dark and you keep it with the wax it won't break so easily that's why how that's how we store h2o2 we keep we have this wax uh, uh, layers in the container which has h2o2 and we keep it down the next is the acidic behavior so if you see h2o2 it gives h plus and ho2 minus ion this ho2 minus ion also breaks into h plus and o2 minus ion typically you can see that H2O2 gives 2H plus and O2 minus ions. Correct? This, is, this gives H plus ions, that means it is acidic nature. If you want to see the reaction, you can see that my sodium hydroxide, you react with H2O2, it gives you Na2O2 plus water. Same thing, sodium carbonate also, you react with H2O2, it will give you Na2O2 plus H2 plus CO. So it is acidic in which we talk about oxidizing behavior. So oxidizing behavior, it has an oxidizing behavior both in acidic and basic way. In fact, it has reducing behavior also in acidic and basic way. You can study that. So let's talk about the acidic medium first. So acidic, if you see, my H2O2 reacts with H plus two electrons to give 2 H2. You see some reaction for this. Example, iron, I have 2 plus. It reacts with 2 H plus. This is acidic medium. And H2O2, this will give you Fe3 plus. Plus what? You can balance this. So if you see in acidic medium, H2O2 reacts, it is oxidizing the iron from Fe2 to Fe3. Similarly, PBS if you see, this is plus 2, this is an H plus medium and you give H2O2, it will give you PBSO4. This guy also if you see, this gets oxidized. Let's talk about the basic one. Let's change the color. So in basic medium, so I have H2O2 takes the electron, it gives 2 OH minus, basic medium. Let's see the reaction. Same iron, you have H2O2, if you see it gives Fe3 plus plus OH minus. Basic medium, it gets oxidized. Mn2 plus, the moment you react with H2O2, it gives Mn4 plus plus 2H minus. That means it is basic. And this also gets oxidized. So, if you see, it has oxidizing nature in both acidic and basic medium. Correct? H2O2 is having oxidizing, oxidizing property in both acidic and basic medium. Similarly, with the 
reducing nature, H2O2 has reducing nature in both acidic and basic medium. So we'll cover this. Now. So as I told, it has reducing property both in acidic and basic medium. Let's take acidic first. So I have reducing property here now. So MnO4 minus, which is acidic, it will give you 2 plus plus H2 plus balances. This is a balanced reaction. Here also you see this acidic medium and it is getting reduced. This is uh, maybe plus this is eight, this is plus seven. This is becoming plus two, getting reduced. Another example can be an HOCl. You add H2O2, what you get is H3O plus, that is again is acidic Cl minus. Right, this becomes minus two to zero. So this chlorine was plus one here, right? From so plus one it became minus. So chlorine got reduced. Let's see in basic medium. So let's react iodine or like basic medium. Iodine will react with S2O2 and let's have some OH minus here. So it will give you I minus, two iodines give two I minus plus H2. So let's see the reaction is balanced. We get two H2. It should give some electrons, I think. No, they are balanced. Charge is balanced. Four hydrogen. Four hydrogen. Four hydrogen both sides, yeah, balanced. Another reaction can be you can have MnO4 minus, you react with H2O2, it gives MnO2 plus O2 plus H2O plus this is OH minus. So let's balance this. Right? So here also you see this is plus 7 oxidation state, this is plus 4 and got reduced. So zero oxidation state is minus one. Continues. This is a basic medium, this is acidic medium. So if you see hydrogen peroxide acts both as oxidizing agent and reducing agent. And why it is so? Because if you see H2O2, oxidation state of oxygen is minus one. So for oxygen, the states are minus two, minus one, zero. So it is a minus one, it has possibility of going to zero, also possibility of going to minus two also. It can be both oxidized or reduced, so it can act as both reducing agent and oxidizing agent. The next is the bleaching action. Bleaching is nothing but you have some color, and when you get this nasty oxygen, it becomes colorless, or you can say oxidized. That is nothing but the bleaching action. So if you put something bleach on something, the color fades, right? So if you see H2O2, the reaction is H2O2 gives water plus oxygen. This is the natural oxygen. This react, this react with color to form colorless thing or fades the color. So it is used for bleaching action. Now let's talk about the storage of hydrogen peroxide. As I told, it is very unstable. It decomposes very easily, right? The moment it comes in the presence of light, it decomposes dust, it decomposes. So what we have to do? Because the reaction is you have H2O2, it decomposes easily into H2O and H2O, very easily. So what we do is, we store in the container which has wax lines, 
container also we keep in dark also since dust is a, a thing which uh, excites this reaction so we'll say keep away from dust away from dust in some clean manner correct so what are the uses of hydrogen peroxide so it is used for hair bleaching used for disinfectant used for antiseptics used to manufacture a lot of chemicals like sodium perborate, percarbonate and they are used generally for creating jig detergent, detergent right? it is used in synthesis of a lot of other uh, compounds tartaric acid and it is used in pharmaceuticals a lot it is used for bleaching agent in textile it also in the leather factory paper factory also is in home also a lot of bleaching creams are there in the market it is also used for green world. It is used for pollution control, right? Because all the sewage and all these things are right are uh, treated using H2O, hydrogen peroxide. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.